Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use these glue on aquarium nail tips. I just recently did a introduction video on these tips here. If you want to know what these are all about, follow the arrow and watch that video. Moving right along, the first thing you need to do with these tips is you need to remove the cork. And that cork was that little red thing that I had in my hand. And now you have to figure out what you wanna fill your tank with and whether you wanna have liquid in it or just keep it dry. Now, if you use liquid, you can use water. It's not touching your nail at all. And you can also use oil, baby oil or, you know, a thin slippery oil, okay? Now you need to figure out what you want in it and if it's going to be a liquid nail, you wanna make sure that the things inside will move around freely. They won't be in there too tight. You wanna have some things that are heavy, some things that are light. Now the person that sells these, Traska, she recommends that you use, she recommends that you use glitter and micro beads. She says those things flow around really easy and of course, you know, you can use spangles too, but I had some trouble trying to get these spangles to move around. But you know, you can fill as many of these nail tips as you want and test them out and see what, you know, flows better. And right here, I put the cork back in and I'm just testing it for movement. There's no liquid in it at this point right now. I do have to take out some of those items because they're not moving around very good, even when it's dry. But if you don't care if it's dry and you don't care if there's movement because, you know, it really doesn't matter if it's dry. But when you have a liquid aquarium nail, you do want to have movement. That's the main thing, you know, for an aquarium nail. So here I am. I am applying the oil right now with a syringe. I believe she does include syringes with her kits. I can't be 100% sure about that but they are easily obtainable at any drugstore. You can buy them. And yeah, so you just fill it up and you want to have a small bubble in it. And if you need to test it again, just put the cork back in once you fill the oil and just test the flow. So that's what's really nice about these. You can actually test these before you glue them on your nail. So you can know if it's gonna move or not. But it does take a little bit of practice to figure out what you want to put in it so you can get that movement. And here I am just putting the cork back in. And as you can see, I have an air bubble here that is just way too big. So I'm going to have to take off the cork and put some more oil in it. And as you can see right here, the bubble is just too big. You just can't have a bubble that large because it just hinders the movement of the items. So again, like I told you, taking out the cork and filling up the nail again with some more oil. I made several of these tips before I decided on the one that I was going to use for my fingernail. And right here I'm just using some nail glue and I'm gluing the cork into place. And here's another one I did, and I really like this one too, but I had to take out some of the snowflakes. I left only two in there because they, these four snowflakes got all stuck together and they wouldn't move. So I left two in there and they still got stuck together. <laughs> so I should have just did one, but this is actually the one I used for my finger and I used the clear cork. I glued the cork in place and now I'm coming in with some thick, no wipe top coat and I am sealing the cork. Now this nail that I'm doing for you here is going to be an all gel nail, okay? All builder gel nail. After this is cured, the last thing you want to do is you want to just use your nippers and nip off that tab that is sticking out from the cork and then file it just a little bit. I didn't show it, but it's simple enough to do. And now to just glue the tip on, and I also apply glue to the underside of the tip. You're looking at the underside of my nail, and what I'm doing here is I am filling in a gap. 
because these nail tips are more flat than my natural nail. My natural nail has a C curve. And so I wanna fill in the gap and I wanna seal it. And the best way for me to do that is to use clear acrylic because I don't have to cure it. Acrylic will dry on its own. And you wanna keep that acrylic just in that area. Don't bring it up over the tip so you can see it because it could make the tank cloudy. So just be careful when you apply it, make sure you just fill in the gap. And I mean, with tips like these, a lot of times you have to customize them to fit your nails, and that's not a problem. It's easy enough for me to do, so I did it here. I'm going to be using some Builder Gel in a Tube by McCart in Khaki Rose, and I'm going to use this to fill in my nail bed area. You are looking at the side view of the nail, and I have to fill in that nail bed area right here to be even with the tip. Okay. I cured that into place and now I need to add some more. It's not looking too bad, looks pretty good. But there's that ridge where the tip is glued on right there and you can see it. So I wanna put some more builder gel there. So I'm gonna add that. And this is what it looks like so far. So you do see that hump in the middle there and then the tip, but I'm going to fill this area in with some clear builder gel. Now the next nail that I have coming out using these aquarium tips, I do it in acrylic. This is the aquarium nail that I did with acrylic. So you'll wanna be watching for that. And I promise you it is the next nail to come out because I wanna get these aquarium nails done and out. Back to encapsulating the tip area. Once I get this tip area all encapsulated and the rest of the nail, then I'll cure it and I'll do some filing. And this is what the nail looks like after I filed it. And as you can see here, I kind of filed it down and kind of filed off some of that builder gel and you can see right through it so now i have to come in with some gel polish and this is from born pretty store and i believe this is sycamore street yes that's my favorite i love that and again use my 20 percent off coupon code if you want to get anything at born pretty store it'll be on the screen too so i need to just come in and fill that in so that you can't see where you know i filed it off <laughs> And so I just paint the nail and then I come in and I start floating some of the gel polish in different areas where I want it to be thicker. And once I get it the way I want it, I will go ahead and cure that into place. I'm really impressed how much Sycamore Street matches the McCart's Builder Gel in that tube. It just matches it really well. I am really liking this nail so far. It looks good. And now it's time to top coat. I must say that I really do like the final result of this nail. It looks very nice. It doesn't look overly thick and bulky. It looks great. I'm pleased with it. And this is the same nail that I showed you that is red. And I'll have a picture of that in just a moment. And this is the same nail, only it's red. And I painted the back of the nail with a red jelly polish. 
This is the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for watching. I tried to cover everything I could so that you can learn how to do these aquarium nails using these tips with builder gel. And I do have a small amount of the aquarium nails in action, although it was hard to even get this much because you know it's hard to film when your hands move in all crazy ways. Be on the lookout for the next aquarium nail video up next using acrylic. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.